Hello everyone, I'm Christina and I'm going to show you how I normally edit uh, my dark and moody photographs. And the photograph you see here is already imported into Lightroom and I've just cropped it uh, square, that I haven't done anything else to it. Um, so I'm going to go into the develop module and I'm going to do a few adjustments. First of all, I'm going to apply the lens correction and then I'm going to apply a slightly faded look and I'm going to do this in tone curve. Then the image is a bit too warm for my taste, so I'm going to cool it down. Then I'll do a few minor adjustments to the exposure and the shadows. And after that, I'll do some local adjustments just to darken specific areas of the photograph and to lighten up some other areas instead. So let's start with lens corrections. Click here and just enable remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. Because every camera and every lens slightly distorts um, every photograph and Lightroom corrects this automatically. Now after this I'm going to go into tone curve and show you how to apply uh, this faded look that I like. Just going to click here and then you click on the circle and just drag it upwards and you can see how the more you drag it, you know, the higher you drag it and the more faded the image looks. I don't want to go for this kind of faded effect though. I'm just going to fade it a tiny little bit like this. And then I'm going to click on this square, the little square again, and I'm going to apply a bit of contrast, changing the highlights, the lights, and the dark. Oops, a bit too much. Yeah, I like it. And also the shadows a tiny bit. Then I'm going to go into basic because I want to cool down the whole image and I'm, I do this going to temperature and dragging the slider towards the left until I get the look I want. Uh, yes, that's how I want it. And after that, I'm also going to go into HSL and desaturate the orange. Probably a bit more, yes. And the yellow. And I do this, I always desaturate orange and yellow for every photograph I take. And just because I like it this way. It's just a preference, of a style preference. But um, I really like this uh, whole section of in Lightroom because it lets you um, it lets you um, decrease or increase the saturation or the luminance or even the change the hue of just one color. So if you have an image, I don't know, of lavender, for example, a lavender field, and you want to increase the purple, you can do that and just increase the purple and leave the saturation of the rest of the image as it is. So it's a very powerful creative tool. So now that I've done this, I'm going to go into basic again. And I want to underexpose the image a bit and make it slightly darker, not much darker, just a tiny bit. And then I'm also going to up the highlights, just a bit, and the whites. And I'm going to darken the blacks. And yeah, probably a bit 
too dark. Right, and I'm also going to uh, desaturate all the colors in the photograph just a tiny bit, not much really, but just a tiny amount. And now I'm pretty much happy with how the image looks. The only thing I'm going to do is some local adjustments. The first adjustment is for the pumpkins. As you can see here, uh, the pumpkin is, um, I've enhanced the highlights and the whites a bit too much. And I've blown up some detail here in the pumpkin. And this pumpkin here is a bit too light also. So I'm going to go and hit the brush and I'm going to uh, darken it. Let's do exposure. So zero minus zero thirty, that's fine. And I'm probably going to do to lower the highlights too. And now I click here and just brush, literally paint over the area that I want to darken. And this might be a bit too much, but for the moment, let's just do it. And I want to make sure that I've covered all the areas I want. So I'm going to click here, show selected mask overlay. And yeah, I've missed a spot. And I'm also going to erase the area here because I've gone over the pumpkin just outside its borders really. Yes, I, I quite like it this way because it's a much softer uh, look. There's not too much contrast like it, there was before. So this one's done and then I'm going to click new here and use another one. I'm going to use um, Dodge Lighten. Um, I created these brushes some time ago. This one is just um, to lighten up the petals, so the areas where the light is the petals. And I'm going to also add whites a bit more. All right. And then I'm going to paint over all the areas where the light is already hitting the petals and just make it more evident. just really emphasizing the highlights. Yes. And now I'm happy with how it looks. Perhaps a bit more here. And now that I've highlighted the petals, I'm going to sharpen the image. So I'm going into detail. And to do this, I'm going to zoom 100% so that I can see better. And you sharpen the image by dragging the slider. But I to see better what the amount of sharpening you're applying, if you press Alt and the image becomes black and white and it makes it easier to actually see how much sharpening you're applying to the photograph. So that's it. That's quite a bit of sharpening so I'm going to apply a mask also because when you sharpen you don't sharpen just the petals, you sharpen the whole image and if I click, if I press Alt again, just go into masking, I can see how there are 
all these little dots in the background they've been sharpened you know they're all the specks of dust and other imperfections but I'm going to apply a mask until only the edges of the petals the main subject are actually sharpened right like this so that I'm not contributing any noise or um, small artifacts to the background the background is nice and smooth if you want and the photograph is sharpened and then I'm just going to see it as it is and that's it that's ready